went to a, an inclusive secondary school. Life was very, very hard and it's very hard for most deaf people because teachers there did not have the skills to teach. They didn't have skills to communicate. They could not sign. They were just pointing to their mouth and using oral communication and that was really very good. So after examination, I passed well. So I wanted to study law, uh, but uh, the university, the universities in Zambia did not accept a deaf person to do law. So I, we tried to advocate, we tried to talk, we wanted to, I complained, I wanted law, but everywhere I reached, they were saying, no teachers, no sign language, we can't take a deaf person. So since then, <coughs> I felt very bad. That's when I also later on started an organization. That was two, 2009. I saw that there was a lot of oppression in this college I was in. I got an idea of calling other deaf people, youth. I called them, we shared ideas, and uh, then we, we, did, we started an organization, Zambia Deaf youth and women mm -hmm. organizations. We used this organization to go to different places and advocate and bring out these issues that we felt were actually undermining us. Yes, this convening was a very important, fruitful convening where we have learned so many things which I had never known. I did not know the reporting process. I did not know skills in debate. I knew nothing. I have learned it here. Uh, they have talked about media skills. I did not know about media skills. I have learned learned a lot so many things the information that we have got was very very useful and hopefully it's going to be very useful to me when i go back to zambia to use it for advocacy work